Have you ever had your freezer fail and expensive food spoil? Do you want to keep an eye on the temperature in your kid's room, the garage, a doghouse, or maybe a wine cellar? All from the comfort of your couch and your phone? With a wireless signal that can reach more than one quarter of a mile away? If so, check out Yoling's temperature and humidity sensor. It's cheap, accurate, wireless, and integrates with other smart home products. In today's episode, I'm going to review and test Yolink's smart thermometer. First, I'll show you how it works, what it's capable of, and then I'll put it through some different tests. I will also show you how it can integrate with a smart speaker to announce important alerts or alarms, so make sure you stay till the very end. For only $25 plus a hub, the Yolink temperature humidity sensor can do all of this. The small feature-rich sensor uses two AAA batteries that can last for up to two years and transmits that data using LoRa signals back to the Yolink hub. From there, the hub sends the alerts or data to your phone's app and other smart home products for integration. Because of its long range, you can put these inside an RV parked in a detached garage or deep in your basement or maybe even a wine cellar or garage freezer. The ability to monitor temperature and humidity remotely with these sensors is nearly limitless. The sensor is compact, sits flush on a table or desk, and there's an included hole on the back so you can hang it on a wall. It does both Fahrenheit and Celsius by pressing the set button on the back, and the screen is easy to read from a few feet away and the battery life excellent, more than two years. It does come pre-calibrated, but if you ever want to recalibrate the sensor, you can do so inside the app. I'll put a link in the video description for these sensors as well as the Yolink app in case you want to try them out. I have had three of these temperature sensors installed over the last year. They're used to keep an eye on the temperature in the furnace and HVAC rooms at a remote location. And a few times they have detected someone leaving a space heater on that would have been left on for weeks if we didn't notice the temperature spike. Another time it warned us that the water softener got dangerously cold and it actually did freeze from a long power outage. I also have one in my kids room to let me know if their room gets too hot or too cold during their sleep times. The Yolink app is constantly being upgraded and it's very easy to use. Here is a view of the temperature sensor. We can see the current battery levels, signal strength, temperature, humidity, and a graph of the last eight hours. If I click more, I can go back and see the data from the last day, week, or even month. You can also export this data as a CSV file for data logging. Let's take a look at how the alerts can be used. By pressing the three dots at the top right, we reach the details menu and select alerts. Here we can select a low or a high temperature or a humidity alert. When the temperature goes below 66 or above 88 Fahrenheit, it is set to alert me of a dangerous temperature for our kid's room. The alert interval is to warn us every 10 minutes until that temperature is fixed. That alert would pop up on the Yolink app using a push alert on my phone. But what if you're sleeping and you don't have a phone nearby? Using a Yolink smart speaker, we can have it announce that alert out loud. If I go to the smart menu on Yolink app, then automation and hit the plus icon, I can create a new custom alert. Here I will name it whatever I want and press the plus sign to select a device action. In this case, baby temperature sensor, low temperature alert. If the temperature reaches the 66 degrees low temperature threshold, it will trigger a behavior. So let's add a behavior. Device actions, speaker hub, voice message, and type what we want to say. I like to have it repeat three times to wake me up and a specific loud volume. You also have the option to choose when to receive this alert, for example, every day of the week between 5 and 9 a.m. Now let's put the sensor in the freezer to simulate a very cold room and see if the alert works. Baby room temperature below 66 F. Baby room temperature below 66. For more critical alerts, say a commercial freezer, you can also program it to email people, send text alerts, or even call you. Think of all the things you could monitor, horse stalls, 
greenhouses, boats, or anything where maintaining a safe temperature is very important to you. The alerts feature will warn you before any danger occurs. For example, if your garage freezer reaches an unsafe temperature because the GFCI tripped on the wall. The possibilities are endless, the alerts are timely, and the sensors are cheap at around $25. Yolink has a new temperature sensor called the X3, link in the video description below. It has a three year battery life, onboard memory to record temperatures even if the internet goes out, and it's aimed more at the commercial market at around $49. If you liked today's video and you learned something from it, I'd appreciate if you liked this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a single video. I have another great video coming out soon that you don't want to miss. And don't forget to check out these two other videos here I did on the Yolink products. They explain more about the different sensors available in the ecosystem. Well, that's all for now. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you in my next video.